Hello new dealers and welcome to the assembly program for your Candy Cups machines. You will be receiving your machines from the warehouse in single boxes. Each machine comes in its own large box that measures 25 inches by 21 inches and is 33 inches high. Inside the box is the pre-assembled machine head, the base which requires some assembly, 400 extra candy cups and the display cup. Make sure you have enough room to hold your machines while you prepare them for placement on locations. You will need one large Phillips head or crossed screwdriver, one small Phillips head or crossed screwdriver, one pair of pliers, a small roll of clear tape, The boxes are quite sturdy, so it is recommended that you have an able-bodied person to assist you. Take the loose base parts out and set to the side. Remove the machine head with help from an able-bodied person. If you are alone, you can lay the box on its side and slide it out. The base consists of five pieces. The base plate, the bottom, the top, which has the money box attached, the back, the door. There are also six small screws, three nuts, four long screws, and two screw sleeves. Remove the protective packaging and keep your pieces organized. First, take the base bottom piece and slide the back piece into the grooves. Take the top piece and slide it onto the back. Install four of the long screws where indicated. Do not overly tighten these yet. Just insert them a short distance so they grab the base plate. Attach the door. The pivots of the door should be on the right, with the lock on the left as you look at the machine. Install the door this way so the pivots grab the holes in the top and base. Hold in place and tighten the four long screws firmly. Take the two support sleeves for the front two screws and install them firmly. Close the door and check that it opens and closes. The money box now needs to have its barrel lock installed. Remove the tape from the box that is holding it in place, take a barrel lock and screw it in using one of the keys. Turn the unit upside down to install the base plate. Use the three smaller screws and nuts to attach the base of the machine to the base plate. Turn the unit back right side up so it is prepared to receive the pre-assembled machine head. The machine head attaches with the three larger screws. Make sure the sides, back, and front of the machine head are flush with the edges of the base unit. This will align the screw holes on the base top with the machine head. When aligned correctly, it will be easy to see the holes. The next step is to take the lid off the top and get ready to install the product cards into the heads. Remove the lid by unscrewing the barrel lock with one of the keys. Once the lid is off, start with the lower product cards. It is helpful to use a small piece of clear tape on the top of the card to hold it in place within the machine. The card has a holder at the top and bottom. The candy itself holds the card in place when filled. This just holds it temporarily so the candy doesn't get in front of the card when you begin to fill up the canister. The upper card holder is just placed in and firmly put in the holder. You are now ready to put candy inside the canisters. It is recommended that you have the product cards in place before getting to your location, so that all you have to do when on site is fill up the machines with product. The next step is very important. You have to set a cup in place in the chute, so it is ready to accept the first vend from the canister. Gently set a cup in the cup holder of all three chutes on the machine head. You now have to align your canister hopper to the center to match the coin mechanism in order for the cups to dispense properly. 
If you do not do this, the cups will not vend properly and you will have a misvend. Simply move the hopper wheel so the notch is just to the left of the metal housing. Place the canister back on the machine and do this for the other two canisters. Take your product boxes and open up one at a time. Remember, the machines should be filled up once they are already on location, not before. It is recommended you wear disposable gloves when filling the machine to maintain hygiene. Take the scoop or small plastic container and start filling a canister. Be careful not to spill the product and keep the lids on the other canisters so candy does not fall into them. Follow this step for each of the other heads. Now you're ready to put the lid back on top of the machine. Take the lid, align the rod through the top hole and push down. If you are using the display cup on top, you do not need the washers. Don't throw them away though. Keep them for future use if needed. Hold the display cup on top of the lid. Take the lock with key in it and press down firmly to attach to the rod. Tighten the lock firmly and then turn back slightly to remove the key. The rise on the key must be aligned with the slot in the lock to remove the key. Congratulations, your machines are now ready to vend product. We recommend that you build one machine in your home that you can use to get familiar with. Practice locking and unlocking the barrel locks. Take the canisters on and off and adjust the hopper so you are comfortable doing it. Test the coin mechanisms for product vents. Fill the machine up partially so you are comfortable doing it yourself before you are doing it out on one of your locations. Open and close the doors and withdraw and insert the money box. Know your machines. The more comfortable you are with your machine before you get to a location, the better you'll feel when you are on site during your visits. Should you have any questions, please contact customer service at customer dot service at walnutgroupinc.com and we'll be happy to assist you. Congratulations again on becoming a Candy Cups dealer and we wish you a profitable day.